So I wanted to talk about the modification I made to my AP1 bumper. When I looked at the AP1 bumper, I saw this you know, little scoop on the bottom left portion that looks like a perfect area to ram air into the cold air intake. The AEM intakes come right down into that pocket right in front of the wheel well. Looking at this area, you can see that there's holes coming in from the bottom. You might see that and say, well, cutting this hole in the front doesn't make any sense. But I looked at this and I saw that, that opening and I said, hey, that, you know, that probably will bring in a lot more cold air to the intake. And the great thing about this opening is that the cone sits behind the bumper still. So if water goes in, it just drains out the bottom instead of getting sucked up into the intake. So where does this idea come from? It's more common in the BMW community. You see people removing their headlights. The intake is right behind the headlight. At higher speeds, it rams air into the intake and it also brings in a lot of cold air because the engine bay gets very hot when you're at the quarter mile or when you're at the track. There actually is a performance difference just by doing the simple mod. My thought was, okay, if it worked on the BMW, maybe it will work on the S2000. I, uh, I did various speed testings with one of these and I was watching the intake air temperatures. I pulled off the freeway, I pulled off the tape, and then I went back on the freeway and I tested at various speeds to see uh, what the intake air temperature was. And right away I noticed that the intake air temperature dropped. That is significant because colder air means you're getting more oxygen into your engine and you will increase the performance. That is the point of the cold air intake. So how much did it, did it do? Well, at about 80 miles per hour, we saw about a seven degree Fahrenheit temperature differential. It went from 95 degrees to about 87, 88. Well, that was pretty significant. And I believe that as you go faster on the track, you're gonna see even more of a significant difference. The great thing about cutting this hole in the AP1 bumper is that you don't have to worry about water going through there because if water goes into that hole, it's gonna go right past the intake because it's still shrouded behind the bumper right in the front there. So yeah, mods like this, people on the internet will say they don't do anything, but when you're, when you're working on your car, don't be afraid to try things like this. Go out there and actually log uh, the intake air temperature, for example, and see if this does make a difference. The effect of this mod will only be more pronounced as you go faster and faster. Is it worthwhile? Yes, it's definitely worthwhile. That is it with the cutting the hole in the front bumper. Was it worth it? Yes, it was worth it. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy your car.